All right, David Harry here, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about two enclosures, which are going to be two of the best options open to you if you are thinking about building the fastest possible external drive that you can based around Thunderbolt 5 or 80 gigabits per second. So the first one here is the Acasus TB501 Pro, which I will just call the Acasus. And then the second one here is the Tesmart TBE X5 Max, which I'm likely to just call the Tesmart. Now, both of these enclosures are uh, PCIe Gen 5 compatible. And for both of the builds that I've done with these enclosures, I have used the 4 terabyte variation of the Samsung 9100 Pro SSDs. Now, to be super clear, what I'm doing in this video is to talk about stuff. I'm not going to be showing any speed tests or like, you know, doing any fancy cutaways or anything like that. However, there will be a link to my SSD playlist in the video description below. And in there, you'll see a ton of stuff about the Acasus, a ton of stuff about other options and things like that. Now, unfortunately, I haven't done a review view about the test smart nor will i be doing a review for this one however i had already recorded the speed test for a potential review for this particular enclosure now that will be linked as well in the video description as an unpublished video so you can get to see the results that i'm about to talk about but unfortunately i won't be doing a full review of that particular enclosure and it's got nothing to do with the enclosure being bad or anything okay so like like I say, getting into this, I'm just going to start talking and talking and hopefully people can like, you know, get whatever information out of this that they need. So I think the first thing people will probably want to know is which is the fastest? Well, the Acasus can do 6,666 megabytes per second, which when I did that video was clearly the fastest single drive SSD system ever shown on YouTube. However, as fast as what that is, and it probably still is the fastest out of what other people have shown when doing real world disk speed tests, because don't forget, I'm not doing those synthetics which can basically skew results. I actually do proper real-world disk speed testing where I transfer at least a terabyte's worth of data and time it to see how long it takes. However, as fast and as impressive as 6,666 megabytes per second goes, the test mark can actually do 6,993 megabytes per second, which is basically just 7 megabytes per second short of 7 gigabytes per second. So as far as speed is concerned, the test mark is about 300, 330 megabytes per second faster. So on the basis of speed, yes, the test mark is the winner. However, there are a number of other things that we have to consider here when you're putting together an external drive and um, by the time I give you a few other things here that will maybe give you a much better or clearer idea as to which one of these enclosures might be the best for you to use and wait until I get to the price of them because <laughs> I'm fairly sure that that's going to be the deciding factor anyway getting into some of these other things so which of these enclosures is built the best well I would argue and say that on the face of it and um, the Acasus is built slightly better now the reason why I say that is only because the Acasus Asus also has like a fin system on the like the top and the bottom or the front and the back whichever orientation you've got it in whereas the test mark doesn't really use any fin system on the outside now to be clear those fin systems that you see on things they actually do help to increase the surface area of a heat sink or a dissipation area in which case like you definitely will get slightly better dissipation of the heat when using fins like I say all it does it just increases like the radiant surface area or the surface area where the heat radiates from so technically speaking i would say that the acasus is a slightly better build based on that particular point however both of them are built really well so 
even though I'd, I would probably edge it to the Acasis for the build, I'd have to say that the, the pretty like the pretty much of a muchness as far as that is concerned. Now, which of these enclosures is best at cooling your SSD? Well, I would again have to edge more towards the Acasis on this one. Not that the test mart is bad or anything, but like I've just said, there are certain things to do with the construction of the Acasis, which does give it a slight like little edge over the test mart as being able to like you know keep the SSD as cool as it can do. However, both of them do heat up and you can definitely feel that when they're in use. But the one thing that I would say is regardless of like how hot they get or how very warm they get, neither one of them drive the SSDs into thermal throttling. So to be super clear, Although I'm saying that the Acasis edges edges the test mart out a little bit as far as its ability to keep the SSD cool, neither one of these enclosures go into thermal throttling with the SSDs that I've tried in them. So leading on from that, the next obvious thing would be, well, both of the enclosures are active enclosures, which means that they have fans in them. So which one is the quietest? Well, again, with that one, the Acasis slightly edges out the test mart here. However, the Acasis has got another little trick up its sleeve, which the test mart doesn't. So both of these enclosures use like an automatic fan, whereby what happens is the fans only kick in when the enclosures are getting too hot, or more precisely, when the SSDs start getting too hot. However, if you want to, the Acasis has got a button on it, which means that you can click it in and put it into a manual fan mode which basically means that the fan stays on so for some people that might actually be a really good thing however both of them like as i've already said do keep the ssds below thermal throttling anyway but as far as the fans are concerned the test smart once it's going like full pelt is slightly noisier than the acasis However, it is not a terrible noise. It's more like a whoosh sound, which is similar to the Acasis anyway, but it's definitely not one of those super high-pitched, screeching, annoying things, a bit like my voice probably. It doesn't do that. It's just a whoosh sound. Now, which one of these enclosures is the easiest one to put together when you're basically putting together your SSD? Well, Again, the win here is very clear. It has to be the Acasis because the Acasis doesn't use any tools. Basically, you just flip the bottom off, you put your SSD in, then you use a rubber stopper to put the SSD onto its motherboard, and then you just literally close over the bottom of the enclosure. And the test mart is one of those ones where you've got to unscrew the back of the enclosure off and then you've got to screw down the SSD when it goes in then screw back on the back of the enclosure or the bottom of the enclosure. So if we're talking like, you know, like maximum e easiness, should we say? Yeah, it's definitely the Acasis. However, what I'm going to say here, though, is that, you know, it literally takes like a minute longer to like construct the test mart, which is absolutely no time at all. And when you consider you're only ever really gonna put one SSD in these things and leave them, unless you're like me and you're constantly changing things around because you do YouTube videos testing these things. But most normal sane people, they're just gonna put an SSD once into one of these types of enclosures. And in that instance, yeah, it might take you a minute longer to do the test mark, but that doesn't even come into it whatsoever. So, you know, for pure ease, Yes, the Acasis, but I'm going to say it's a draw on both of them because most people are simply not going to be changing those SSDs out for years. So the extra minute that it's going to take you to screw and unscrew the test mart isn't really going to be any kind of a hassle whatsoever. Now, there are other things that I could talk about as far as comparisons are concerned. However, they're probably going to be like super nitpicky and stuff and probably of no use to anybody. So I suppose the one last thing we need to talk about here is price or maybe more precisely how much is it going to cost you to build the ssd of your dreams well let's see 
The Acasis at the moment costs $225. And by the time you add one of these four terabyte Samsungs, I mean, you could use other SSDs. I'm just using the Samsung as the example because it's what I use. These cost, say, $400. So to build the four terabyte variant of both of these SSD drive systems using the four terabyte 9100 Pro, it's $225 for the Acasis and $400 for the Samsung. So that's $625. However, and unfortunately, when we get to the test mod, the enclosure costs $415. And obviously, once you add that to the 400 for the SSD, that's $815. So you're talking 625 versus 815. Or if you're just looking at the price of the enclosures, it's $225 versus $415. So whilst the test smart is definitely going to give you that slight edge on the speed by about 300 or so megabytes per second, You've got to weigh that up and say, well, is all that extra money, is that value for money to get the very fastest? Or do you put up with the second fastest, but get like, you know, a much better price at doing it? Now, the thing with that, that's a decision that only you can make. However, I would say, um, you know, both of them are going to be great, absolutely great options for like building your like, you know, your fastest SSD and stuff. But it really does come down to that last few hundred megabytes per second as to like whether or not you think that extra money for the test mart is going to be good value for money. Now, don't get me wrong. There are going to be discounts available for these enclosures and I will have some discounts in the video description below as well so the test there uh, the test mart I think I've got a 15% discount for that so that will bring its price down now I usually have a 15% discount for the Acasis however at the moment I believe cases are running a 20% discount anyway so what I'll do if the 20% discount is available I'll drop that into the video description for you so to be clear if you're going to go for the Acasis, don't use my promo code because it's only 15%. I'll find another code for you, which is 20%. Now, when you start looking at that, I fear the 20% off this enclosure as opposed to only 15% off that one. If money is going to be part of the object here, then yeah, I think that kind of speaks for itself. Anyway, then, so just to round this up, if anybody wants to ask me, you know, but Dave, which one would you choose? Well, I'm going to have to say I would choose the Acasis because my favorite. <laughs>